March and the wedding season kicks off early at the farm. It's the first one of the year and tensions are high. Well, it's always good to be a little bit nervous about it to make sure that everything goes right. But yeah, I'm quietly confident it'll be fine. In the marquee, caterers are putting the finishing touches to the tables and I'm on hand to make sure everything runs smoothly. Well, it's the first wedding of the season, which is always a bit nervous. We did lots last year and they all went really well and we got into a real routine, but this is the first one back, so we're all a bit tense. And the worst thing, of course, is it's pouring down with rain. It's the end of March, so you'd have hoped it would have been quite nice, but no, it's bucketing down. Um, the wedding takes place in about half an hour's time and there's a bit of a calm and a bit of a lull. Everything's ready, really. The marquee's all ready, everything's in position, all the guests arriving for the ceremony. We're all organised, really. It's just a shame about the rain. The farm is licensed for civil ceremonies in the Tudor barn. We work closely with the team from Kent County Council. We're just about ready to go. Um, yes, I've interviewed the groom already, just to check his details are correct to go into the register. Um, we're now in here um, sheltering from the rain uh, and waiting for the bride to arrive, as I'll need to speak to her before the ceremony starts, again to make sure that her details are correct for the register. Five to three, the rain stopped, but there's a problem. Yeah, one of the witnesses is stuck in traffic apparently and hasn't arrived yet, but um, they should be here soon, so we'll just keep everyone in position and hopefully, hopefully start just slightly late. Our job is to make sure we're on hand to help with minor hitches, but today we just wait. Well, still no sign of this witness. We're now ten minutes late. Everyone's all getting a little bit impatient. We're going to leave it another two or three minutes, and if she doesn't arrive by then, we'll have to start without her which is a bit of a shame, because she's a witness. Ten past, and the bride decides to carry on. This is the best moment of the day, and our housekeeper, Jane, can't resist a little peek. Oh, look, she looks lovely. Today you have both made your promises to each other in front of everyone gathered here and I'm absolutely delighted to announce that you are now mm -hmm. husband and wife to make this your wife. Another day, another couple hitched. But work on the farm carries on apace. Well, you may remember last time we were going to renovate an old hen house and turn it into a chicken coop and have loads of chickens. Well, we've done it and it's come out quite well. Look, here it is, all painted up, ready to go. And these are the girls. Hello, girls. We need around 20 eggs a day for guest breakfasts, so these girls need to get laying. Do you know, I still just think it's a miracle, these things. Look, it's a beautifully formed, perfect egg. And one of you girls made this, didn't you? Yes, which one was it? Was it you? No, I want you. Was it you? <laughs> Seedlings in the greenhouse are coming on a pace, and as the wedding guests tuck into their dinner, we can breathe a sigh of relief. One wedding down, 21 to go. Next time on LV Farm TV, there's murder on the farm, but who done it, how and why? <laughs>